Okay, let's do this again. Welcome, game developers, to Doug Teach's uh, Unreal Engine 5 Rail Shooter Remake. Hopefully I won't hit the tilde key again and accidentally stop the recording mid-recording. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, um, the Patreon's still underway. It's just been this ridiculous, crazy week for me. Alright, so, first things first. In our rail shooter, we're gonna set our, uh, we need to, our mouse, mouse cursor to be shown. So in order to do that, we need to right click here. We need to get the player controller. Can't we do the player pawn? No. We need the, we, we need the actual controller. We need to set show mouse cursor. Now set show mouse cursor does exactly that. It shows the mouse cursor. And what the fuck is that? This right, I gotta get rid of that somehow. What is that? I think it's the fucking overlay for NVIDIA GTX experience. Anyway, GeForce experience. Anyway. So, if we tick this box for, sh for set show mouse cursor, guess what? We have our mouse cursor. What about the targeting reticle? We'll get rid of that when we're uh, doing all the bells and whistles. That's, that's, uh, we'll get rid of that later on, just not now. Now, let's actually make it so that way we, when we fire, we hit, so, uh, we type in fire. And then we need to get player controller again. And I believe we need to, shit, hit result, I can't spell hit, hit result under cursor by channel. What's the hit result on cursor by channel? Essentially, when we're clicking, right, when we're clicking, whatever we're clicking on, whatever's being hit, something needs to happen. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to take the hit result and we break it. Break the hit result. Now, if you're, I'm not gonna do a uh, rehash of what the hit result is. That's all. Eat a dick. Uh, eat a dick. Because I already did it like twice. <sighs> okay. Now, what we need to do is, yeah, we just make the, yeah, we just make the transform. What the fuck is wrong with me? So we need to spawn actor from class. Now, this actor is going to be our first person projectile. Why? Uh, you'll see. So we need to make a transform. Ugh. Make transform. Now this is very important. What? This part's very important. And the reason why we break the hit result is because we want the location of whatever it is that was hit to be the location for our make transform. So we plug this into here. As far as rotation is concerned, we... I don't know what... I had this arrow component because I'm an idiot. Uh, I don't know why I had it. I forgot why I even put it there. We can just, we can literally get rid of that. Can I please delete? Thank you. We can get our camera instead. And in our event graph, we get the camera, and we can literally get world location, and that'll be our rotation. Did I, I got, you got the world loca location. I got, I got, got to get to world rotation. Jeez. Cheese and crackers. Plug this in. And that's that. We're done here. Really? Yeah. So if I hit play. What? Wait. What's going on? Nothing's. What? Wait. What the hell's happening? What are you talking about? What? Why are the. Why is it spawning all over the place? What do you mean? Because we're, again, people, you, this is how, this is how rail shooters work. When I was doing it the first time, I basically just said, you know what, let's take on the safe side and just do based on camera rotation. But, this is different. It's working exactly as, it, as we intended it. How? The, the, the balls are going in every direction. Well, that's, well, yeah. Um, care to elaborate? I will. Let's see, okay. Uh, remember, we get the hit results and the tra and the trace channel's visibility. Now, what does that mean? Um, if whatever we're hitting is visible, right? From there, we get the location of whatever it is that we hit. We plug it into the transform. Technically speaking, we don't even need the ro ro rotation. I'm just doing it for shits and giggles. Well, yeah, we're just doing it for shits and giggles. So we take that... And then we just spawn the tra and then we spawn the actor based on that. Okay, so what happens? So like, it doesn't explain why 
I mean, like, look at the way it's spawning. No, it's it's spawning the way it's supposed to. Because it's spawning right on the mouse click. Oh. Yeah, it's spawning on the mouse click. So it's bouncing back toward us because it's like, oh, okay, I'm going forward. Oh, I hit something. I guess I'm bouncing back. Why? Let's look at the first-person projectile. Remember, physics is turned on to this thing. So, um, whatever is being... Because the physics is already... Let's go to the collision. Because I, uh, I think this does the... Actually, you know what? Let's go to the projectile velocity. So, simulation's enabled. That means physics is handling, being handled. It does swooping collision, and then whatever it hits, it's bouncing. Ow. Oh. oh, I see what you're saying. So... It's spawning at full speed, but at the same time, it's bouncing, and therefore has to account for the change in projectile velocity. Yes, exactly. Because we're mouse-clicking all over the place, it's going to spawn based on that. Is there a way we can, like, have some form of fall-off or something? What do you mean? Like, give it some... I don't know... Uh... It doesn't have to be so janky. What you want? What you mean? Like have the projectile have a bit of like leeway or something? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we can do that. We could just say like take the location. Let's have it subtracted by another vector. And you could just say I don't know. Um, let's say uh, uh, fifty by fifty by like fifty or something. That's a stupid thing. It's gonna be dumb. Why? I'll show you what I mean, because, um, now it's having some form of fall-off, but, like, it's, it's stupid. It's not as janky, and you can up this number if you want, but, like, for the intended desire for the rail shoot, technically speaking, we don't even, uh, in rail shooters, you don't even have this. Oh, really? No. It's like... If we hit an actor, we just, like, for instance, uh, if we hit an actor, we could just spawn an explosion, and then that's that. Ah. Are we doing the AI stuff? Mm, let's, let's, let's keep it short and simple. Uh, yeah, let's keep it short and simple, and, uh, let's keep it simple, stupid, and we end it here. Oh, serious? Yeah, let's just end it here. Okay, fair enough. Well, can we at least do the... Oh, right, you know what? Let's not end it here. Let's have a thing that says can shoot. Oh, like you did last time. Yeah, so we just say can shoot. And by default, this will be false. So we get this, branch it out, and then plop, and then plug that in here. And then on true, we can shoot. We can shoot. But we won't be able to shoot. Not until we get into the level blueprint. So let's do that. So we open level blueprint. On finish. We get a reference to our character. Where are you, character? There you are, rail shooting character. Character. Let me say, set can shoot to true. Because that's where we will have our first encounter. All right, yeah. So, as you can see, I'm not shooting. And now I am. Cool. So, that's that. Cool. Nice, sweet, simple tutorial. And then here, narrator. And there you have it, game developers. Tune in next time for Doug Teaches Unreal Engine 5. Yes.